So we've got tons of new assignments added to Battlefield 1 about a week ago. And when I started playing the game after this patch came out, I noticed some weird thing. Half of the team, or maybe not half of the team, but usually 5 to 10 people on the team, is not doing anything to play the objective. They're just trying to complete those assignments. And it's not that bad if they're trying to complete assignments that require them to complete certain amount of revives or heals or resupplies. But then we get this second group of assignments, which require you to take down planes with LMGs, get certain amount of kills with the trip mines, or even get certain amount of kills with the rifle grenades. Is the person responsible for creating those assignments even playing Battlefield 1? Not only you are increasing the amount of nade spam that you are trying to reduce for the past couple of months or almost a year, but also you're completely removing the team play from the game. 99% of the player base will drop the syringe to replace it with the rifle grenade. They obviously will not give up medkits that can heal them and let them stay alive longer. It's an obvious choice. I would do it myself. We all know that there is not enough medics on the battlefield in general, so the revives aren't that common compared to previous battlefield titles. And yet, DICE is still trying to reduce it on purpose. I mean, come on guys. We all know that most of the player base is average and they will not be able to complete those 25 rifle grenade kills in a short period of time. It will take them weeks or at least days to complete and they will be useless for the team in this time. Same goes for the support. Most support players are not actively playing because they are sitting and trying to take down planes with LMGs. And if that isn't enough, there is the second group of support players who are trying to obtain the mortar kills that are required to unlock the Parabellum as well. I don't even want to go into the topic of players who decide to drop ammo bugs to replace them with mortar and the grenade launcher, or the crossbow, call it however you want. And in reality, there's tons of people who do that. About 7 out of 10 times, when I pick the enemy support kit because I want to drop myself ammo, I try the first gadget and I end up with the crossbow in my hands. So I'm naively assuming that maybe this guy has an ammo bug on the second gadget slot. But guess what? I end up with the mortar in my hands. And now I'm completely not surprised that my teammates aren't dropping ammo. It's not that they are too stupid to do that. It's just that they don't have it with them. DICE's official statement regarding the new assignments is that they want to encourage players to try out new ways of playing Battlefield. So let me ask you a question, DICE. Is having 15 of my teammates laying behind sniper shields with snipers a new way of playing Battlefield, especially if we are in the attacking team on the operations? Because I don't think so. This is simply stupid. Do you guys remember the assignment requiring 25 AT mine kills couple months back when the Hellrigal Defensive came out? That was hard and people complained about it a lot. So where is the common sense in adding more, even harder assignments to complete? And community gave feedback on the CTE forums saying that those assignments will be a torture instead of fun. And yet nothing was changed. The only thing that got tweaked was changing the Madsen to any LMG in the Parabellum Unlock assignment, but that still didn't really change much because I have 400 comments of people asking to help them boost the assignment because they're not able to complete it on their own. And I mean totally no offense to those guys, because I understand that not everyone is highly skilled. Playing this type of game is supposed to be about enjoying your time not about struggling to complete some stupid assignment to be able to then enjoy your time. I imagine there is tons of people who wasted so many hours to complete those assignments and I see it by the amount of views I got from the taking down planes video explaining how to destroy planes with LMG. Why couldn't those assignments be replaced with the requirement to obtain a certain amount of points while playing a certain class? in whatever way you want. 
It would encourage team play and playing the objective, because if you want the most amount of points, you sadly have to PTFO in this game. That's how the point system works here. It's far better solution than forcing players to play in a way that they can't play or not necessarily want to play, than making them use some weird playstyle that doesn't contribute to the team winning at all. Remember guys, this is just how I personally feel about those assignments and I'm completely fine with them as long as they involve team play and playing the objective. However, with this patch, most of them don't provide that. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield.